Hey, remember I said strong triceps also help out with a strong bench press. I'm gonna show you a quick tricep extension move, it's one I always use. Uh, I usually uh, do like 12, 10, 8, 6, 4. I'll go back up, maybe do 10 and 12 more reps. Before I even do that, I'll do a couple sets of 20, a little bit lighter, just stretch them out, warm up, get the blood flowing. Of course, I do this after my bench press, after all my chest workout. Remember this though, as you're doing tricep extensions, many people will forfeit their technique to try to lift heavier weight. Uh, technique is key. If you miss that, if you'll remember I interviewed world powerlifting champion Randall the Bear Harris, got a bench press over 700 pounds, and one of the foundational tips that he gave us was technique, technique. He said over and over, form matters. So I'm gonna show you a quick uh, illustration of the tricep extension uh, using the correct form. Naturally, you start at your chest because it's a chest, from the chest down is the extension of the tricep. It's not a shoulder movement. All this swinging that you see people doing, it's not a shoulder and back movement. If you really want to exercise the muscle that isolates, it's a tricep movement. So your top of the chest, down, fully extended. Top of the chest, fully extended. And you simply do the reps in a controlled motion, not a, not a swinging motion. That's, you don't bench press like that. So if you're going to use the tricep, you want to strengthen the tricep, up, fully down, up, and when you go down, you squeeze, you squeeze, and you're working that tricep. This is one of the exercises that will definitely strengthen the tricep and will also help move that bench press up to higher, whether you're training for a competition or just for bragging rights in your local gym. You want a big bench press? Get some strong triceps.